Hi there, welcome to Tech Center. This is Joshua and I'm going to introduce you to the Tube Brush in Paint 3D. If you want to watch a full tutorial on Paint 3D, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Before we jump into the video, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive future videos from my channel. If you haven't already watched my previous video, which is about using the last 5 3D objects, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Now I'm going to show you how to use the tube brush in Paint 3D. First of all, I'm going to open Paint 3D from the Windows Programs list. Click Start. And then on Paint 3D. Now that Paint 3D is open, I'm going to open a new blank canvas by clicking on New. Now that there is a blank canvas, I'm going to go to 3D Shapes tool. In the sidebar here, you can see the 3D Doodle tools. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the Tube Brush. I'm going to click on it. When I clicked on it, you can see more options popped up and the sidebar changed. So here you can change its color with the color palette. Here you can change the thickness of the tube. You can also change the thickness as in pixels and uh, with a slide bar. You can change the shape of the tube with this. I'm going to start by drawing it. To draw the tube, I'm going to left click and drag on the canvas. Left click and drag. You can see that there is a white circle at the start of the tube. This is because when the circle is filled, you cannot draw further. There is a limit to how much you can draw with the tube. But you can combine tubes together and group them to make it a big long tube. I'm going to fill this circle up. I'm going to show you what happens. I'm going to keep left clicking and dragging. It's almost finished because it's three quarters of the way through and now it's almost filled. Now it's filled. I still haven't let go of left click. If I try to left click and drag it still doesn't work because the circle is filled. Now I'm going to let go of left click. When I did that you can see that there were grip points on the tube to adjust the shape of the tube. I'm not going to do that, instead I'm going to extend the tube by drawing another tube attached to the end of this. This one's going to be shorter, I'm going to left click and drag. I'm going to stop right here, so I'm going to let go of left click. Now if I click on commit, these two tubes will be grouped together and they will be joined together. They will be one single 3D object. You can ungroup them afterwards. I'm going to commit it. You can see the 3D shape. I'm going to resize it using the grip points around the selection box. Resize it by left clicking and dragging. I'm going to left click and drag on the shape to move it about the canvas. I'm going to deselect the shape by clicking outside of the selection box. Now if I try to select it again with the select tool, by clicking on the shape, you can see that it is one single object. If I ungroup it from the grouping section, you can see if I try to select this small tube, it will become a separate tube. If I try to select the big tube, it is a separate tube. If I want to group them both together again, I have to select one of them and then click on multi select and then click on the tube. 
you can see that it is multi-selected. I'm going to click on group in the grouping section. Now if I deselect the shape by clicking outside of the selection box, and I try to reselect it by clicking on the tube, you can see that it is one single object. I can also change the color of the shape by clicking on edit color. I'm going to change it to red. I'm going to close the color palette by clicking outside of the color palette. I'm going to select the shape by clicking on it. I'm going to use the x-axis rotation handle. Now I'm going to use the y-axis rotation handle. And now I'm going to use the z-axis rotation handle. Now I'm going to ungroup the shapes by going to ungroup. Now that they're ungrouped, I'm going to select the small tube and I'm going to change its colour. I'm going to change it to green and I'm going to change the large shape to orange. Edit colour, orange. Now if I try to select the green tube as well by clicking on multi-select and I select the green tube by clicking on it you can see that both of them are selected now I'm going to group them together I'm going to click on group now that they're grouped I'm going to deselect this shape by clicking outside of the selection box and I'm going to reselect it by clicking on one of the tubes if I try to rotate it with the x-axis you can see that it is one shape and it has multiple colors. Now I'm going to show you how to draw different shaped tubes. Before that I'm going to resize this so it's small. So I'm going to left click and drag on the grip points. I'm going to make it small and I'm going to move it to one side. I'm going to deselect it by clicking outside the selection box. I'm going to go back to 3D Shapes tool. I'm going to click on 3D Doodle tool tube brush. And I'm going to click on Shape of Tube. I'm going to change it to Star. I'm also going to change the type of tube, so big to small. You can do that with any of the others. I'm going to adjust its thickness by do this. So the thickness is 10 pixels less. I use this slide bar. Now I'm going to draw the tube. I'm going to left click and drag. Again, as I'm drawing, you can see that the white circle is being filled in. It's halfway through. It's almost complete. I haven't let go of left click and I cannot draw any more tubes. If I want to draw the tube again, so this time, I'm not going to connect it or anything. I'm just going to left click and drag. I'm just going to do this and I'm going to let go of left click. Now I'm going to click on commit. Now these two shapes are grouped together. I'm going to rotate this shape to show you the star effect. I'm going to rotate it by its y axis. So here you can see the star and if I try to rotate it I'm going to deselect the shape by clicking outside the selection box. Here you can see the star tube. It gets from bigger to smaller. This is where I started. And it ends really small. This is because we chose the taper for big to small. We can choose any other taper. This is applicable to any type of tube, any shape of tube. Like before, we can ungroup these, 
so I'm going to click on this shape to select it and I'm going to ungroup them I'm going to make this bottom one a yellow color now I'm going to make this top one a red color now currently the red one is selected so I'm just going to select the yellow one as well so to do that I need to click on multi select and I'm going to click on the yellow tube now both of the tubes are selected I'm going to click on group now the two tubes are grouped I'm going to rotate it and if I resize it using the grip points you can see the star tube I'm going to deselect the shape by clicking outside the selection box you can do the same with any other 3D doodle tube brush you can also change the tapers there are five different ones to choose from and you can again choose the thickness of the tube make sure to choose the taper and the thickness before you start drawing now that I've introduced you to the tube brush I'm going to save this file menu save there are four options I'm going to save it as a paint 3d project because when you have 3d objects in your paint 3d project you have to save it as a paint 3d project otherwise the objects will stay as 2d they won't become 3d I'm going to save it as a paint 3d project and I'm going to call this file tube brush and I'm going to save it in paint 3d now that the file is saved I'm going to close paint 3d in my future videos I'll be posting tutorials on paint 3d and how to make games in Python I hope that this video was helpful for you if you like this video, please smash that like button and show it to your friends and family. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click the red subscribe button below. If you have any questions or comments about this video, or if you'd like to get links to all of my previous videos, please contact me via email at fortexcenter at gmail.com. I've put a link in the description box below. See you in the next video!